Okay, I got myself a one-up rack. $635, free shipping by tax. We'll get a security lock and a couple of keys for putting it on the car. Okay, apparently, you rotate these out. I just hit something, which is that blue thing. Okay, so I can't get these blue things to budge. I tried to pull them up. I need to loosen that. Unfortunately, these are not the right size for that. It should be the size, but it's not going in. English or metric? This will not fit. I got some Torx bits, and that sort of fits, but it doesn't really go in. Okay, that might go in all right. So this appears maybe it's Torx, and unfortunately when I try to rotate this around, the nut rotates. All right, let's try this again. Still turning. There we go. Okay, now this is loose. I can turn this out. Turn this tray out. And I think these are supposed to lock back into place, which is going to require tightening that. Again, I'll try to hold this with this and tighten this with this. Okay, because I have this extension from the car, I'm going to slide this as far in as it'll go and see if this pin will stick through. It sticks through there and it sticks through there. I think I'll put it at the very end here. This will lock it on. So now nobody should be able to steal the rack, but it's not on very securely yet. What you have to do is you have to tighten this down. So that nut there has a little thing sticking out in the middle and the only way to tighten that is to have a similar allen key with a hole in the middle. Anybody with this allen key could steal your rack so that's why having that lock there is very important. So I almost bought the more expensive rack because this release to tilt the rack is a real pain in the ass and if you tighten this down like this you can't pull up on that bar. So you have to loosen this, and then you can pull up on this bar. But it's hard to pull evenly on the bar and get both sides to release. Because sometimes you pull one side, sometimes you pull the other, and then sometimes you can get both, and then you can tilt the rack. raise and lower these, you need to pull up on this, and pull up on this, and then you can put the bikes in. So the best thing about this rack is, no matter how wide your handlebars are, or how different your wheelbases are, you can arrange the bikes so that they do not touch each other. And when I don't know how the bikes are going to line up, I put one on just loosely, and then I take the other one. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell, but the handlebars here are close to this seat, and I don't want them hitting, so I'm going to push this bike back, and, and then I can tighten this bike down. And now those handlebars are nowhere near that seat, and these handlebars are nowhere near this seat. That's the best thing about this rack. And it doesn't matter what size tires you have, you can drop this down to a lower position for smaller tires. And to take your bikes off, 
You just lift up on this lever, pull like that. That's one problem pedal set here. So you need to back this bike up a little bit or go forward with it or just take it off. 